You would think signing a waiver that lists all the ways you could die in an experimental sub would be a huge red flag for passengers on the Titan submersible, but apparently it wasn't. Let's read it. To me, item number two, I think, would have been the biggest red flag. This is what it reads. A portion of the expedition will be conducted inside an experimental submersible vessel that will dive 3,800 meters to the shipwreck of the Titanic. The experimental submersible vessel has not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and is constructed of materials that have not been widely used for manned submersibles. As of the date of this release, the experimental submersible vessel has conducted fewer than 90 dives and 13 of those dives reached the depth of the Titanic. Prior to my participation in the expedition, there has been as few as 13 dives to Titanic depths in the submersible. So that is a 14% success rate. When diving below the ocean surface, this vessel will be subject to extreme pressure and any failure of the vessel while I am aboard could cause me severe injury, disability, emotional trauma, other harm, and or death. Number four on the waiver stated that the vessel carrying the Titan was not meant for passengers and had lots of hazards. If I choose to assist in the servicing or operation of the submersible vessel, I will be exposed to risks associated with high pressure gases, pure oxygen servicing, high voltage electrical systems, and other dangers that could lead to property damage, injury, disability, emotional harm, or death of myself or others. Number six stated they were going to be in international waters at a great distance from the nearest hospital or rescue personnel, and that if you're injured during the expedition, you may not receive immediate medical attention. I acknowledge that all travel in or around the water on vessels of any type, including submersibles, entails known and unanticipated risks that could result in physical injury, disability, emotional trauma, death, harm to myself or third parties, or damage to my property or the property of others. Although OceanGate expeditions will take reasonable steps to provide me with adequate training, equipment, and skilled expedition personnel, I understand that all risks cannot be eliminated from any expedition. Number eight gets you the sign that people from OceanGate have actually explained these things to you and answered your questions, explained all the physical demands of the expedition, as well as the risks, hazards, and dangers associated with the expedition. Number nine is very interesting as well. It basically got all the passengers to sign the rights of their family members away. I, on behalf of myself, my heirs, etc., members of my family, including minor children, hereby release, waive, and forever discharge OceanGate, etc., from all liabilities which I or my heirs, etc., may have against the release parties. I hereby assume full responsibility for the risk of my bodily injury, disability, death, and property damage due to the negligence of any release party while involved in the expedition. I hereby agree to defend and hold harmless OceanGate expeditions.